Time to get out of swimming pool, Bask. Yeah, it's bloody hot. Bloody hot. Holy dilly. Oh, sorry I'm late. I was in a swimming pool. Well, when I say swimming pool, I mean I was sort of having a bath. Yeah. It wasn't actually a bath. I don't own one. It was a shower, right? I was having a shower, sort of. Well, not even that real. I was just basically chucking a hose up myself because it's stinking hot in Australia. So I yeah, apologise to the attire, but I'm stark naked under here, right? <laughs> because it's just too hot and it's just been too difficult and too hot and too sweaty and then stormy to make videos. So it's the middle of the week and I'm finally making my Gooch video. Now, the topic of this video, okay? Now, Bass the Cat, bless her furry little paws, has been looking through all the statistics and she's found something that's very strange, something that needs examining, something that I wasn't aware of, okay? Now, apparently, 10% of you lot out there, yes, you, 10% of you use subtitles. Okay, well, well, all right, that's fine. If you're speaking, you know, Japanese or some sort of Ukrainian sort of dialect that I don't know, and you don't speak the Queen's English, right, then fine, okay, you're going to need them. But guess what? All of those people using subtitles are getting subtitles in English. The Queen's English. I mean, I enunciate. I have round vowels. Not you bloody Americans. I'm already talking like this and everything. I can't understand a bloody thing you're saying on TV. Right? I have round vowels. I speak clearly. It is the Queen's English. A little bit of Australian accent, but I try and speak as clearly as I can. So it can't be that. So what can it be? What do you need those subtitles for? Well, it must be my dialect. It must be the words I use. So... The topic of today's Gooch is the unknown Gooch. Because you don't seem to know my lingo, okay? Maybe it's the words I use, okay? You bunch of bloody drongos. <laughs> so I'm going to explain in this video all the Australian terms that you need to know from A to Z. Yeah, not bloody Z. It is Z, all right? I'm going to explain them all. And I'll probably put some clothes on. All right, roll music. <laughs> And I'm back. I've put some clothes on this time. Yes, it's a little less disturbing, isn't it? Yeah, now look, a big shout out to my Patreons and my YouTube members because without them, these videos wouldn't be possible. Their, um, their patronage and their sponsorship helps pay for these videos. So if you'd like to help me out, then please, well, like, like, you know, hit the like. That always helps because it pushes the algorithm up. Or comment, be respectful about it. Subscribe to this channel, you know, hit the bell notification, all those things. Or you can even go to Patreon or become a YouTube member, yeah, and that really, really helps me out, yeah. Now, what's this video about? Well, it's about Australian strine, okay? Strine, that's what we speak, okay? It's not, we don't speak Australian, we speak English, but our English is filtered with strine, okay? So, the very first word you need to know, if you're in Australia, we're talking Australian, is ass, okay? Now, it's not a rude word. It's Australian Research and Space Exploration. Right, that's what this stands for. And if you talk about it as far as the Australian Research and Space Exploration Department, it's asked. okay? And that's a word that we use a lot, okay? Why didn't you come to work today? Couldn't be asked, all right? Okay, your car's not working. Someone says, what do you want me to do? Kick it in the ass, all right? Okay, it's a word we use all the time, right? It's, it's not rude, it's just part of our culture and part of our language. So if I say ass, right, I've, I'm actually using a verb, okay? It's it's something that I do. I'm arsing, I'm asked, ass, ass, right? Okay, enough of that. Probably been demonetized now for saying ass too many times. But it's just a word that we use, okay? Of course, A also stands for Australia, but I actually that would come in an S because normally we drop the A and go Australia, okay? But we'll talk about that more later. All right, so you've got A sorted, okay? A is basically that order that needs to be. Now, B, 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 well, there's beauty and there's bonza, okay? Now, beauty is... It's a good thing, okay? Bonza means it's a bloody good thing. And bloody is a word we use a lot, right? Things are bloody good, they're bloody bad, they're bloody terrible, they're bloody nice. you got a bloody good friend. All right, that idiot over there, that bloody idiot, right? Okay, everybody's bloody this, bloody that. It's got nothing to do with the stuff that comes out of your veins, right? It's not the red stuff. And if you've got that stuff coming out your ass, then you've got a problem, all right? No, 
It's nothing to do with that. It's just we talk about things being bloody. Bloody this, bloody that, bloody weather. Ah, I had to go to bloody school today. Right, okay. Bloody, bloody, bloody. It's just going on all the time. No one thinks about it. It's just how it is. All right. So that's all that means. It's got nothing to do with hemoglobin. All right. Okay. C. There is a word that we use a lot in Australia, and it rhymes with runt. But we can't say that on YouTube. No, that's one of the big forwathered words, okay? So, yes. So, um, what do we call it? Um, cunning stunts. Yeah. <laughs> that's the C word. Um, it's got to be other ones. I just, my brain's gone blank. It's got to be a good C word. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Okay. D is for Drongo, okay? We all know about Drongos. Do you know about Drongos? Drongo is a little bird, but it's not a real smart bird. It's a dumb bird bird okay so if you're kind of dumb or you've done something really stupid you're a drongo okay yeah that's all drongo means that's all it is okay now e e is a bit sort of tricky this is um it's really not that many e words okay there's eureka for eureka stockade yeah that's a great big very important rebellion that we had okay with ned kelly but i'll talk more about that in n and k okay so that's that's e so um there could be I don't know, apart from that, there's not many words. Enough, end, eunuch. No, we don't use those. No, we never We never say, there's enough of this eunuch, we better end him. It doesn't happen. It's not part of what we talk about, all right? <laughs> F. Yeah, there's a lot of F in Australia. F this, F that, F the other. F the bloody this, F the bloody that. There's a lot of F that goes on, all right? And again, we won't go too much of that because when I say that word, um, they get a bit upset and I've done enough asses in this video. So uh, we will pass on from that because I think that's a given, all right? That's a given, F, all right? G, all right? G, well, it's g'day, okay? G'day. It's, it's G apostrophe D-A-Y. G'day, all right? Which just means hello. We're not actually asking, have you had a good day? We really couldn't give a fuck, okay? No, but what we want to know is, have you seen me? Are you acknowledging that I'm there? So, g'day. And then you go, how are you? You know? G'day. Did you have a good weekend? All right? <laughs> that's, that's a D one, and it's a bit hard to understand. Did you have a good weekend is one word. All right? Did you have a good weekend? Okay? Um, it's the same as, you know, when we're asking about a price. How much is it? All right? That means how much is it? How much is it? All right? So we sort of have some sort of combinations of words that we've strung together for so long, they've actually become words. And that's how it goes. All right. H. Well, H is for Harry, right? It's how's that at the cricket, yeah, which we're always winning and beating those bloody palms. <laughs> so, um, and it's also for howzos. So one we don't talk about much are howzos, okay? And howzos are um, guys basically on the dole, right, you know, on unemployment. And they're living in government-supplied houses out in the extreme suburbs, right? And they're just, you know doing whatever they do. You know, they're not dealing drugs. <coughs> no, they're not. They're not. And, and they usually beat you up. So <coughs> enough of that. We won't talk about them anymore. All right. All right. Um, I. I. There was a lot of I in Australia. Okay. Um, I didn't read your missus. Okay. <laughs> I want to go to the pub. Right. All right. You know? Okay. I need another model kit. I is going on all the time. Right. So that's enough about I. All right. That's about the only time we use it. All right. J. Well. J's like jerking off, but that would be in W when we talk about wanking, okay? All right. Um, but J could also be Jake, all right? I've had the Jake of this, all right? We don't use that as much as we used to, all right? But it it still can be there. It's like cobber. I didn't put cobber in it, see? Nobody in Australia says cobber, okay? You're not my mate if you're my cobber, all right? Uh, a cobber is an old English word. It's got nothing. Some, I think it's basically an old sailor's word. Nothing to do with Australia. So all those stupid idiots are trying to be Australians going, yeah, you cobber, well, you're all freaking drongos, okay? There's no cobbers. No cobbers here in Australia at all. We got rid of them. We stuck them all in a big boat. We sent them all back, back to the UK, right? An export of an export. Yeah, buggies. All right, so what are we up to? Um, Jay, jerking off, yeah. Um, K, right? Well, in Australia, there's, there's a well-known K. It's a song, and the song is, If You See K. No, did you get that? It's... If you see K, right? If you see K. And we say it really fast and it's in a song and everybody everybody laughs as the song that they sing off at the pubs. You know, blah, blah, blah. If you see K, right? Because it kind of sounds like a rude word. 
But it's not, all right? It's not. No, anyhow, we wouldn't care anyone in Australia. <laughs> so that's K. I don't think there's anything else. Um, no, there's not many other K words. I don't know. If, if I've missed one, right, if you're an Australian and you're watching this and you go, you, Drongo, you missed that important one with that letter, put them in the comments below because I can only keep so much stuff in my head, really. I'm trying to think of the ones that I say most often that could be in this video, right? So that would help with the people having to get super titles. So, okay, L, okay, L. Well, um, she's, she was a famous model, Elle was, um, Elle McPherson. Yeah, she was bloody good, you know. She had a good pair of lungs on her and she looked really nice up there with all the bloody frocks on. So that's basically L. Um, it's also for lingo, right? We talk about lingo, that's language. So what I speak and the way I speak it, that's my lingo, okay? Lingo, all right, if you didn't, if you didn't understand that. In the opening bloody titles, right, okay, M. Okay, M in Australia. Well, there's M and M's. We eat them. I think you call them Smarties. Yeah, I don't know, or something, or Skittles or something. M and M's, right? They're delicious, absolutely. Delicious. Chocolate little bloody candy things or whatever you know. Absolutely bloody delicious M and M's. I don't know what other M words. There's probably some famous M words, but I can't remember them. You know, that's not it. N. All right. Um. Gee. Well. Oh goodness me. I don't know what there is in N. Um. No, it's got me confunkled. I don't think there's nothing that we talk about that's got an N in it. I don't know. You'd have to nudge me and nick me and bloody, you know, tell me to nick off. Well, nick off's a word. That just means go away. So there's that. I don't know. I can't think of an N one. No. Oh, oh, bloody hell. You caught me muddy rooting your missus. There's O, you know. Um, over there, right? It's probably a song. Over there. All right, I don't know. There's not much O's. I can't think of a lingo word with O. No? So we'll move on. P, well, obviously, piss off, right? We say that all the time. You're taking the piss, which means, obviously, you're pulling a leg, right? You're having a lend, right? Um, there's an L word, lend, okay? You're having a lend to me, which means, you know, you're trying to bloody borrow from me. Um, so, no, P, piss off, basically. That's about it. The only P I can think of. Oh, there's pricks, penises, and porcupines, you know? Um, but, but basically, piss off is it. Is it? Yes. Um, Q. Well, there's Queen's English. Yes. There's Queen's English. And, th and that's it. And we do kind of, we do revere the Queen in Australia, as long as she doesn't tell us what to bloody do. Okay? We, we like the idea of having a Queen. That's, that's good, you know. But we're certainly not interested in the bloody monarchy. Okay. So you guys can piss off. Don't you tell us what to do. All right. But it's kind of nice to think, oh, yeah, well, we've got a Queen, you know. Yeah, that's right. Mainly because our, our, our prob well, prime minister, right? Not, not our president, but we have a prime minister. And that's a P word, but we don't really talk about it much. SCOMO, the scummo. <coughs> SCOMO, our, our president, uh, our prime minister. So, um, yeah, we, we'd probably rather talk about the Queen because SCOMO is such a drongo. Yeah. Enough of that. Personal opinion. <laughs> Apparently, you're supposed to say that just to cover your ass. All right. Oh, uh, PQ. R. R. Well, there's. Um, what is there in ours? Righto. She'll be right. A lot of things are right in Australia. Okay. There's a good level of right going on. Politics can be right. And I think when politics are right, that's when you get a scomo. So we didn't really want that. We probably want politics to go left. Unless I go back to front. I can never work those bloody things out. Right, left, whatever, up, down. Who knows? We only have two major parties in Australia, right? We have the Liberal Party, which is not the same as Liberals... And the Yanks, it's completely opposite, all right? Our Liberal Party is really for the upper class, you know, for the, the people that are earning money and all the rest of it. And then we have the Labor Party for the people that labour, right? People that work, people that do everything, right? They're the Labor. And then we've got the Greens, who go around hugging trees and stuff like that. I mean, I used to vote Greens. I thought it was all very good and they were out of good cause and they used to keep the bloody Liberals under check. But I don't know, what happened to the Greens? Where'd you go, guys? I mean, Peter Garrett, you know, Midnight All, there's an M, Midnight All, right? You know, you know them? I don't know, the, the songs they sing, right? Peter Garrett, big ball guy, he was huge, tall, about 15 feet tall and bald. He was a bloody senator and um, he was a Green senator. Yeah, so, no, but that, he's gone. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, he probably had to go and get have a shave. Mm. All right, so where are we up to? Goodness me, politicians, P, Q, R, S. Oh, S stands for Australia. Right, of course it stands for Australia, because we drop the A, right? We don't worry about that. It's Australia, mate. Struth. And Struth means, goodness me, what happened? I mean, crikey, I didn't put that in C. I never say crikey. No one says crikey. Only, only bloody, you know, that, that uh, the crocodile hunter, he used to do it for the American audiences. 
We don't say crikey. And, and actually, another S word, shrimp. We don't say put a shrimp on the barbie. That's a P word that I missed. Prawns. They're freaking prawns, right? They're great big bloody things. Smaller than a lobster, right? Bigger than your stupid shrimps. They're prawns. They're really big, all right? I can't eat them. I'm allergic to them. But we put prawns on the barbecue, not shrimp, okay? So the only S words we got are street, okay? Yeah, that's it. That's all I can think of. Can't think of another one? <laughs> Tay. Well, I really should have done my research. I can't think. What do I talk about? T. Um, no, nah, nothing there. Nothing at all. Uh, well, well, we have tea, right, which is what you guys would call dinner. Um, that's tea. You know, have tea. Um, whereas dinner can be lunch, you know. Um, and breakfast is brekkie. That's a B word. Brekkie, right? A lot of things have like brekkie, coffee, hickey, you know. You know, and that's where smoko, okay, we have kind of these kind of funny words, all right, so there's, there's those sort of words. So, um, yeah, yeah, tea, I don't know, my brain's, I'm too hot, all right? So if you know a good tea word and you're Australian, let us know, because I'm a bit kafunkled on that one, all right? Okay, you, well, you should be watching this video, yes, and you should watch all my videos, and you should be watching all the bloody adverts, all right? That way I can get, you know, a monetization will pay for itself. I mean, I had one buddy video once that came up and said it made half a cent. <laughs> I kid you not. They pay us not much. All right? Okay. <laughs> v. Well, V stands for VB, of course. Yes. V stands for VB, which is Victoria Bitter, which is a beer. And actually, there is something I could have done with tea, a 10. All right? A 10 in Queensland is a pot. All right? Or is it the other way around? And you say, I oh, know, a pot of beer is different in each state. Like, if you go to a pub in one place in Australia and say, I want a pot, it's one size. You go to another bloody place, it's a different size. I don't know why. There should be a national pot synchronisation because it's just ridiculous. You go in a pub for a bloody beer and ask for a pot, you don't know what you're getting, okay? It could be anything, all right? Yes, I know. Well, there's pints. Pints are pretty consistent. Schooners, another one. Schooners are all bloody different sizes. A schooner's a midi, I think, over here, but a schooner's a schooner, which is... Look, it gets bloody confusing. That's all. You go in. If you ask for a 10, that's 10 ounce, right? A 10 ounce is a pot in Queensland, but I think a 10 ounce is something else. Might be a midi. I don't know. If you know the difference between all these beer sizes, please explain to me. I mean, I used to work behind a bar, but thank goodness I never worked in Queensland. So a pot was a pot, a midi was a midi, a schooner was a schooner, a pint was a pint. If you're too pissed, you got thrown out your ass. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. W. Well, W stands for wank, of course. And a lot of Americans apparently don't know what a wank is. If you don't have a good wank in your life, well, you know, you're going to be very frustrated. Right? You need one every now and then. And I think, well, it's masturbation. All right? So jerking. Right? So a wank's that. But also you could use it in a sentence like, oh, you wanker, okay? Which doesn't necessarily mean that person is pleasuring themselves at that particular moment. It's just an endearing term meaning you're a drongo who um, really hasn't got a clue what they're doing. You're a wanker, okay? So there's that, okay? So and there's wanking and, you know, and, you know, wank. It can be used very many ways. It's very useful, okay? Very useful. All right, um, G word gooch. I mean, I explained that in a lot of other videos. Did not gooch in Australia? It's not drugs. It's not drugs at all. It's got nothing to do with drugs. Our G word gooch um, basically means your bit down there between your um, your fountain and, and your pupil, right? Okay, gooch. It's just a bit of bit of skin. It's gooch. Um, okay, enough of that. All right, where are we up to? W or X? Well, you're having with breakfast. Ham and X, right? You can have boiled eggs, you can have scrambled eggs. There's, there's lots of eggs you can have, and that's about all the eggs we have in Australia. All right, we have lots of eggs. We have organic eggs and farm-free eggs and cage-free eggs and, you know, all the rest of it. Yeah, there's a lot of eggs. Good for breakfast. All right. Um, why? Why should you be watching this all the way till now? Who knows? I don't know. I don't, I'm getting heat stroke. I'm, I'm about, I've got the air conditioner off here, and the sweat is pouring off me there's a fountain of you know at the moment my, my my genitals are a waterfall yeah it's so hot oh, i better get through this really quickly because oh I tell you all right um z okay z in australia don't know there's no bloody zeds i can't think of anything there's nothing that starts with z i don't think we use the word right I, I, it's a totally useless letter in australia there's nothing that starts with z at all in the entire country nobody says a word that starts with z i don't think anybody's called a z we don't even use it all right uh, I can't think of it. Do you? No, nothing. Useless letter. All right, get rid of it. I don't think we need it. We'll just drop the bloody alpha back down to 25 in Australia. We don't need Z. It's pointless. Absolutely pointless. All right. 
Anyhow, look, um, yeah, I am really sweating. It is just so stinking hot. So I'm going to put the air conditioner on and I'm going to hop back into my hose. <laughs> God, poor old Bassa Cat, she knows his other hose down. Tell her she loves it. Yeah, she loves it. So um, that's Australian lingo to help that 10% out. Been watching my videos and just couldn't get it together, okay? So now you'll be right, you know? You'll be right. You won't have a problem, you know? You'll get it. Bonza. <laughs> All right. Goodbye from Australia. And it's Huru from Harry Udini. <laughs>